Hi hey everybody, uh, welcome to episode one of Mr. M's math class. Um, I just want to let you know that every episode will begin with an estimation 180 that is created by one of you, so please keep sending them in to me. Um, I have sent your parents the estimation sheet we use in class, so use that if you can, if your parents can print that out. Um, and then the answer will be revealed um, at the end of the video, so make sure to fill everything out before you get to the answer. The second thing is if the video is going too fast for you, remember that you can always pause at any point in the video for you to write down any information or to have more time to work on something. Third, every episode will have a math exploration that I'll introduce and you'll have two days to do it. When you finish the project, either make a video response or take a picture of your work and send it to me via email. I'll be discussing some of your work in the next episode. Fourth, I'll be sending an optional coloring sheet that you can work on at home. I'll show you how the finished uh, coloring sheet should look like when we get to that. And lastly, if you have any questions about anything in the video, please don't hesitate to send me an email and I will try to get to you as quickly as I can. I am dedicating about two or three hours a day to do some work. Um, and so I'll be checking email pretty regularly. All right, so let's get started. So we have our first estimation. This one was created by Amir. And his question is, how many Lego pieces are in this helicopter set? Remember, you can always pause the video if you need to. All right, so let's begin with our first math exploration. Um, remember that each episode will have some sort of math exploration. I will introduce it and do uh, the first part of it, but it'll be your job to finish and uh, report back your findings. Um, what we're going to do today is called a choral count. We're going to be counting by a certain number. Um, today we're going to be counting by three-fourths. And uh, today we're going to do the first two columns, and then your job will be to do the rest and then write down some observations or some interesting math um, ideas that you might notice in uh, the count. So um, you just begin with three fourths. So uh, first we start off with three fourths and three fourths plus three fourths is six fourths, which is the same as one and two fourths. And one and two fourths plus three fourths is two and one fourth. And if I have two and one fourth plus three fourths, I get three. Hmm, you might already be noticing some patterns. If I add three fourths to three, I end up with three and three fourths. If I add three fourths to three and three fourths, I end up with four and two fourths. And again, if I add three fourths to four and two fourths, I end up with five. And one fourth. Now I'm going to pause there. You might already be noticing some observations about this, but remember your job will be to do finish off these three columns, take a picture of your work, make a video of it, and then um, send me what you notice, and then I will discuss what we notice in the next video. We have two last things to cover. The first thing is I'm going to show you a picture of what the finished product would be for the new coloring sheet. Um, if you finish this, you will be able to get a prize out of the prize box when you come back from class. So here's what the finished product looks like. At the end of this short goodbye, I will reveal the answer to Amir's estimation. Um, but I hope you enjoyed our first episode. 
Um, and I hope you stay safe. I um, hope you're having fun and I hope you're not going too crazy. Um, but I will be uploading a new video soon. Um, and uh, I really do miss you guys. I wish I was teaching, but um, I understand why this is happening. Um, but, you know, we're doing the best we can. And so um, I hope to see you guys real soon. And uh, yeah, please send your questions to me. Bye.